Hello guys, in this video we try just to see how to discover your weaknesses. It's very easy in trading. You go to your account and check any trade that you have done before, a loser or a winner. Okay? If the trade is a loser, you try to see how much you lost, like in an amount or percentage, and you ask yourself, are you okay to lose that much money? And if you, if you lost a lot, I know you will not be okay to lose that much. Now I ask you the question, why you don't put stop loss? Okay? Because a stop loss minimizes the risk. And a trade that is not good, you should exit from it. That's it. That is so simple. But you, you don't want to accept and to solve your problems, which are weaknesses in trading. Okay? All these problems that I spoke in another video is just psychological. You don't want to learn how properly to trade uh, stocks in swing trading. A second thing. You bought a stock uh, and this trade is a winner. I'm not speaking about loser. I'm speaking about the winner right now. Okay. And you get a profit. Let's say $50, $100, $200, $150. But after one week or two, you see that stock. If you stayed in that stock, you will make $1,000, $1,500, or $2,000. And I ask you the question. Yes, this is a winner. Yes, it is a winner. You win. $150 or $100 or $50 or $20 or $500, whatever you win. Now, I ask you, are you okay with, with this money? You might say, oh, it's money. I don't care. Even if it's $20, $50, I'm making money in that, vid in that uh, trade. Now, I will tell you, you are not. You are not making money. Okay? Because... You don't know how to follow a trend. If you know how to follow a trend, you will make more money in each trade that you, it is a winner. Okay? So this is a big weakness. Now, what you should do? The only thing you should do is you get a training. For example, I, I offer a training level how to... Uh, follow a trend. It's, it's it's skills you should acquire. It's not it's not just a say to you or you watch a video and then next day you become a professional trader and you know how to do. No, it it even if I tell you right now what is it about or I explain to you, you will never you will never get it until you practice that skills or those skills. You practice them. You practice them, and after a few months you will begin to know how to deal with a stock if you are right. Because most of the money in swing trading is when you are, you are, you are right and you wait for that much time. I'm not saying always time, but I'm saying the opportunity to make more money than before. Now, what, what makes you exit very quickly when you see $10 or $20 or $50 or $100. It's just because you are scared. You say, no, 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 no. The stock has gone uh, has gone little bit, $1 or two. I am taking my money. As as they say, some people say, it's not uh, it's not a good idea to wait too long. You should take uh, you take, uh, take profit right now. But this is not considered as as a profit. It is not considered as profit because it is little. Okay? It is little money. If you have stayed more, you could have made more and your, your account will grow faster and faster and faster. But since you have these weaknesses, here I'm trying just to spot on some of the main mistakes and the weaknesses that a beginner does. Okay? Another thing, if you don't know how, when to enter, 
this is a real problem okay you either you uh, you enter too early or you or you enter too late this have uh, disadvantages and you will be losing money from this kind of things because you don't know when to enter entering a stock okay there are skills that shows you how to enter the stock either from the resistance line or from the support line and it gives you ideas how to get out from the trade when either when you make money or when you lose money so these are just some weaknesses that I try to spot here the main thing is training you should train yourself acquire the uh, skills that you need in order to succeed and not forgetting to save more money for your for your account until it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger it means if you have a five hundred dollars or two hundred dollars and you tell me oh i am opening an account and i i begin to trade and uh, how to be successful okay well, when you have little money you can just begin and you can spend this money into tr training but you need more money to trade the more money you have the better you are in the market if there is a big move in the stock and you have only one thousand compared to someone who has ten thousand compared to someone who has one hundred thousand okay and this big move bring him money for real okay so this it has to do with savings and uh, making your your account bigger and bigger in order to to trade very freely okay so thank you very much um it, it uh, please comment or uh thumb it up or subscribe to my channel if you don't and thank you very much for your uh for watching this video thank you